The governor of River State, Nyesum Ezebunwanwike, has urged Nigerians to be more careful in their choice of who they entrust with the responsibility of governing Nigeria. He said this was because the ruling APC federal government has set Nigeria 20 years backwards in just six and a half years of its misrule. The governor said it was only states controlled by the People's Democratic Party that are preoccupied with delivering the dividends of democracy. While referring to the APC as the other people, he stated that they are only fighting themselves about direct primaries and indirect primaries. He explained that it was wrong for most governments to forget to include the well-being of the most vulnerable in society in their programs. Well, joining us to discuss this is Enefa Jodwill. He is of the Rivers Civil Society Organizations. And we also are being joined by Darlington Nwaldu. He's the Deputy Publicity Secretary elect um, ARC River State. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Gentlemen, can you hear me? Yeah, it's always a pleasure. Great, great, great. And if I'm going to start with you, the, the, the governor is speaking about the APC-led government, obviously, pointing at the federal and state governments and saying that they've set the country 20 years backwards. Um, and, and for you who works with civil society, I mean, just a few minutes ago, we were talking about the protest uh, that uh, happened in the Northwest as a result of the killings and, of course, the terrorism that they're experiencing. But can we really say that the presidency and the APC-led government has really set Nigeria 20 years back? Um, but very, very fact, um, the statement of the governor um, is the fact that uh, the APC government is one of the worst governments in the history of Nigeria. However, uh, such a comment should be coming from uh, someone in the political party that is known to be as destructive as the APC. I have argued severally, and there is no difference between, ideologically and philosophically speaking, there is no difference between the APC and the PDP. They are one of the same fact. Most of the principal actors are in the APC. We are all in the PDP. In fact, the major players call them. I mean, she call them. Well, the the, the acquaintances of this world. These are entrenched uh, PDP people. You know, most of them, a good number of them, we are all members of, of, of the PDP. And of course, we all know too that the 60 years of our uh, PDP was equally. Uh, Based of ruin, um, sixteen billion naira power project. Yet there is darkness everywhere. We we want to talk about the uh, PDP government couldn't deliver ordinary potable water. We are not government who couldn't industrialize this country. Uh, uh, iron ore and uh, 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 steel is nowhere to be found. They couldn't even provide simple things like simple simple technology, IT, and what have you. So I, I, my point is that they lack the, the PDP lack the competence uh, to abuse the uh, APC because uh, they, are, they, are, they, are one of, they are one of the same thing. And for the governor, uh, the, the, governor the governor sometimes um, sound, sounds so sure of himself. He, 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 he talks, he, he, sometimes the governor wants to act as an activist that he is not. For God's sake, we are talking about the governor who you talking about uh, uh, policies of the, uh, 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 as it affects the down trojan. We are talking about a governor who no civil servant in the river state has been promoted since he came into the state. That, is, that means that if you are in level, level six since he came, you are remaining level six till date. Hmm. Why your counterparts must have moved to level 10 by now? But it remains so. We are talking about a governor who have not paid demonstration teachers despite court order. The industrial courts and even the court of appeal have so ordered a lawyer, a lawyer, and he has refused to obey the court order. He has not paid them. So, by so you're one saying that governor. So you're saying so that governor Wike is. Lack. So you're saying governor Wike is has found himself in a case of a pot that's calling a kettle black. Is that what you're saying? That he should not you, you, be you, speaking you, on this issue. I, 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 I am saying uh, we do great, with great respect to him. I think he just been hypocritical. I, I sense high level of uh, hypocrisy. We are not about, we even, even down here. What are the what, no industry? What are the indus, industries he has created for ordinary people, for poor people? We are speaking that by now, uh, we have industrialized the state by uh, setting up IT centers and uh, IT up. The, the IT is the new oil in the world. What is he doing? Is, 
Even the cassava processing uh, factory that was created by, by a joint measure between uh, the previous government and, and Shell, that he came and completed because government continued. As I speak to you, he has dissolved the board of that uh, cassava processing uh, 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 factory and it has, it has, it has remained tabuk in commandos ever since then. Okay. No industry, okay. no employment, nothing, nothing. Okay. As, such a, as such a government is talking about uh, APC. It's, it's true that the, that the APC is a, failed go, is a failed political party and this government is a failed one, but if that shouldn't be coming from a governor who is called a failed, a failed governor. All right. Let me go to Darlington. Mr. Uh, Mwago, um, the governor has, in his statement, um, but, um, he, he was uh, being represented by his aide, uh, Kelvin Ebiri. Uh, he did talk about the fact that the governors in the PDP are being preoccupied by delivering the dividends of democracy. So let's use Governor Wike here as, a, uh, you know, as, let's see, the poster child of delivering dividends of democracy. What dividends of democracy is the governor referring to? Let's start with River State. Are there any dividends that we can point to? I mean, Enefa just literally crushed... Um, every single thing that the governor has said in that statement. But do you have anything to say in, to save the governor's um, reputation in this regard? Well, I wouldn't uh, want to indulge myself in uh, the seasonal uh, brickbats that um, the governor of River State uh, always engages himself uh, with the federal government of Nigeria. Uh, I wouldn't also want to entertain your audience, just like the governor does on a daily basis, um, filtering uh, taxpayers' money on national TV on a daily basis in the guise of uh, launching or flagging of or commissioning projects. I think that governance and government is a serious business. And uh, when uh, people talk about, uh, if we want to discuss serious business, then we should go down to roll up our sleeves and discuss very serious business. Now, we are talking about governance in Nigeria and governance in river states. And uh, you wouldn't have someone who is who has refused to be accountable to the people of river states. You wouldn't have such a person uh, 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 trying to paint uh, or trying to brush the federal government uh, uh, in a very bad light, in a very bad manner. He is not a good example of what an opposition should be. Now, this is a governor that has run the state with a budget that is not seen in the public domain. How do you mean? And we have... The budget is nowhere to be found. The budget of River State in the past six years, the government of the state has operated a secret budget. But 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 then I remember when I was in River State, and the budget used to be public uh, published on a certain government website so you could go and assess assess the, you know, the different parts of that budget. And I, I remember... Now, you are, now you, are, you are a journalist. I challenge you. I challenge you to direct us to that website where the, the budget of the state is in the past six years. Since uh, 2015, when it took over. Now, we are saying that these are not, uh, these are not mere rhetorics. This is not trying to play to the gallery or entertain your audience. We are talking about facts. You cannot, in any sane democracy, claim that you are running a people's government or you are accountable to the people, whereas the budget expenditure, which is a public document and which should be a public document, is nowhere to be found. You are not accountable to the people. You award contracts based on impulse. 
I'm sorry. Yes, no, Again, I want to challenge you. When you say that the governor is not accountable to the people, in what way are you saying? Because, the I mean, I, I don't understand. Is the, 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 the number one test of accountability. How so has... Government you're, a mem you're, the, you're a member of the opposition the in the government state, government and the opposition the in the state seems to be... Seems, be, seems to be can I ask a question? You're a member of the APC in River State, you, you, and the opposition in, uh, in River State seems to be a worthy opposition. What has the APC done in challenging the government to produce this, this so-called um, secret budget or be accountable to the people? Because it's not enough for you to talk about it. What are you doing to get the government to be on their toes? That's what the opposition is supposed to do, right? Well, what, what, what else should a credible opposition do other than calling out the government of the day talking to the people of the state about the dangers of we having a government that runs and operates a secret budget. There is nowhere in the world where, assuming uh, the, the, the federal government was operating a secret budget, as we have a river state, I, I, I bet you that the whole country would have been on fire. Because you cannot have expenses made based on knee-jerk reactions. You cannot have, on a daily basis, contracts being awarded that are now captured in the budget for people to be able to verify, for people to be able to IMAC this project, for people to cross-check and examine the cost implications of this budget vis-a-vis -vis the uh, uh, standard cost of, of these items in the market or in the open market, as the case may be. So when once you have deficiency with your budgeting system, I, I dare say that there is every reason for you to believe that there is or there are acts of corruption. Okay. Because the number one point of corruption in this country is in the budgeting. But Enefa just said something about so the fact that... Have, hold on. Enefa Judge will just said something about... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. One second. Let me just put this out there. Enefa Judge will just put the APC on the same level with the PDP. In fact, he said that you, they're one and the same. It's just the different colors or the different logos on their flags that differentiate them, but they're one and the same. So you're on the other side pointing fingers at the government uh, on its level of irresponsibility, according to you, while Enefa, on the other hand, is saying that you're as irresponsible as the government of the day. In other words, if you were there, in his words, you'd probably do the same thing. What do you have to say about that? Well, those are his opinions. Uh, he's entitled to his opinions. Opinions are free, but the, the facts that should stand on ground are sacred, and the facts are actually the direct opposite of what the NFA just did. And, 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 and if you want to correlate what is happening at the federal level with what is happening in River State, there is no basis for. There's no basis for, for comparisons. Because, really? number one, we do have an open budget for the Federation, a budget which is subjected to uh, public debate by the National Assembly, okay. which is subjected to pandering by the various committees at the, at the, at the level of the National Assembly. <laughs> and against a system in River State where a document is brought out, a summary of expenses is brought out, or what I call a statement of uh, well, we, well, we have to go. Budget. We have to go. I apologize. Time is not on our side, but I want to say thank you. And for George Will, I want to say thank you. Darlington, Wadiru, thank you so much for speaking with us. Unfortunately, we cannot continue this conversation, but I appreciate your thoughts. Thank you. Well, thank you all for staying with us. Now, Nigerians tell us the version of Nigeria that they prefer, the Nigeria of today or Nigeria of 20 years ago. Uh, well, my name is Mary Anakon. I will see you tomorrow as we return with Plus Politics. Have a good evening.
of course, 20 years ago, things were easy and things were... But then now, I, I, I prefer the new Nigeria because there are a lot of innovations. With or without the government, people are starting to grow with what they have, with what they can offer the society. So I believe that the new Nigeria, the Nigeria of this 21st century, is a kind of... is a growing society, yes. And that's something that will put Nigeria in the forefront, in the eyes of the other parts of the world. Ah, to me, 20 years ago is better to what we have now. Like um, 20 years ago, we don't have um, things like street um, cultism. We don't have, um, you, can, you can proudly eat square, three square meal a day, 20 years ago. And even like Christmas now, Christmas is in the air. You can't even feel it, that there's Christmas in the air. So Nigeria of 20 years ago, me, I would like, if I can reverse the end of time, I would like to go back 20 years, honestly. I think I prefer, I prefer now. Because there are some civilization that's in, that's in the country already. You understand what I'm saying? Like 20 years ago, there was no Instagram, there was no all those stuff, all those stuff, you know. So I would say now is better than 20 years ago. I would say we have gone some steps further, you know, than, than I'm sure we had ever imagined. But um, we have a whole lot to do. And I'll say we are still falling short of expectations, you know. Uh, but I have faith that things will get better in the next 20 years.